Elections cannot be held in Pakistan's Punjab province because of fear of an all-out war with India. This claim was made by the Pakistani Defence Ministry in a report submitted to their Supreme Court. This India threat and other cross-border threats were cited in it. While the Pakistani Defence Ministry was submitting this in their highest court, the Pakistani Foreign Ministry was announcing the acceptance of the invite for Shanghai Cooperation Organization or the SEO's foreign ministers meeting to be held in Goa in May by Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto Zardari. And then came the terror attack on the army vehicle in Pooch in Jammu and Kashmir. Now the question that everyone is asking is, will the invitation to Pakistan still stand? Will Bilawal come to India? All this is connected, but how? Hello and welcome to 360 Degree. I am Anjali Istawal and we will give you a 360 degree view of the often tumultuous India-Pakistan relationship in our India Today digital show. Let's first begin with the timeline of the deterioration of India's relationship with Pakistan. The delicate relationship that India and Pakistan shared on the world stage was gravely disrupted in 2016 when the Indian Army suffered its worst loss in 20 years in JNK as four heavily armed terrorists launched a grenade attack at a camp in Uri on September 18, 2016. 18 army men lost their lives in this attack. India pointed a finger at Pakistan's involvement and Pakistan refused to acknowledge it which of course was not a surprise. But what was upsetting for India was a 20 minute long speech the then Prime Minister of Pakistan, Nawaz Sharif, gave in United Nations General Assembly on September 21st, 2016, just two days after the attack. He called Pakistan the principal victim of terrorism and claimed that Burhan Wani, a young Kashmiri terrorist killed by Indian Army, was a young leader and said that he was the symbol of Kashmir's intifada. That means uprising. It was seen by India as an attempt to legitimize terrorists on world stage by Pakistan. The delicate thread of India-Pakistan relationship completely unraveled after this. The South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation or SARC summit was to be held in Islamabad in the month of the following November and India made it clear that it will not play Pakistan's game and pulled out of it. Later, the summit was cancelled. But India wanted to do more than just diplomatic posturing. On 29th September, 11 days after the Uri attack, the Indian Army conducted first surgical strikes inside Pakistan. This was seen as retaliation to the Uri attack by India. Since then, India has continued to isolate Pakistan on world stage. Due to its refusal to take part in SARC, the biennial summit hasn't been held since the cancellation of Islamabad 1 in 2016. Some experts declared this association of South Asian countries more or less dead and defunct. Now let's come back to the present. This will be the first time since 2016 that the most senior foreign office representative of Pakistan would be visiting India. Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto Zardari will be the first Pakistani Foreign Minister to visit India in nearly 12 years. And now I will remind you of the recent annual threat assessment report by the US Director of National Intelligence. It raised concerns about the possibility of India retaliating against Pakistan in the event of a terror attack on India or an orchestrated violent unrest in Kashmir by extremist groups based in Pakistan. It added, each side's perception of heightened tensions raises the risk of conflict, with violent unrest in Kashmir or a militant attack in India being potential flashpoints. Now note the report submitted to the Pak Defence Ministry that claimed India would continue with strategic coercion, including through terrorism in Pakistan and exploit any opportunity at operational and tactical levels for limited military action to all-out war. With reports like these and the provocation of the terror attack, how will it be possible to attain the main goals of the SEO? The main goal of SEO is strengthening mutual confidence and good neighbourly relations among the member countries. Neither is the Pakistani Defence Ministry report good neighbourly 
nor is support for terrorism in India good neighbourly of Pakistan. Pakistan will have to decide what's going to be its next move in what it called the global great game, where according to it, India enjoys primacy. It has to decide if it wants good neighbourly relations or wants the constant threat of all-out war. Do tell us what you think about this video in the comments section and for more news updates, subscribe to India Today.